Hey guys, welcome to the Whiskey Vault. The hell? Where we're actually doing whiskey. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> So, we have treats, <laughs> and they are... <laughs> Wait. Where my notes go? Why are there four simultaneously? Usually I have, because to, I have to work my way up to this. All four of these are from Sol Sullivan Shoddy. Sh shoddy? Sullivan Shoddy! You ain't do this <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's put them down one at a time. Right, so, right, so he sent us uh -huh. a, a rye, right. a dark rye, oh, Dazel, basil Hayden's dark rye. Hadn't had a Doppelbach whiskey, and I looked up what's Doppelbach whiskey because yeah. it's barrel proof. Yeah, and the website of the company says barrel proof Doppelbach whiskey is the barrel proof version of Doppelbach whiskey. Son of a. And then I try to look up Doppelbach whiskey, and I don't have anything about it anywhere. Yeah. So uh, I, he did write us up some notes. So let's start with, in order. Yeah. So when we're W straight whiskey. You're already, already, you're getting out of the routine we so firmly established before our quarterly you challenge. Pour first. Pour first. <laughs> okay. Wheat whiskey. This is from. Uh, why do I always 45th parallel distillery? Why do I always expect wheat to be like some weird, strange, weird, strange? I don't creature? know. You kind of want it to. You, yeah, but it's always sweet and pretty it's and sweet friendly, and, pretty and, and it's not wildly, wildly different from corn. Not wildly complex either. Um, not normally, in my experience. New Richmond, Wisconsin, master distiller is Paul Werney. Now I'm not getting thin and watery. It's, uh, there's some full body. He said all he remembered is that it smelled like fresh spun sugar, which reminded him of the Munahaban 12 finish. Interesting comparison. Uh -huh. It's like a, like a musty, dusty, dark chocolate. He got the first taste of this outside of the distiller because he went to the shop to buy a bottle and they were proofing and they didn't have it bottled yet. Really? And so the guy just reached in and put a glass oh, into the proofing. That's the dream. He was like, here, try that. That's the dream. <laughs> Wait, well done, Sullivan. Wait, can they do that? He also called his masters Statler and Waldorf. We get that. Yeah. Actually. So what do you think? Mm, that's good. It is. That's really good. I, I get the sponge sugar thing, the cotton candy kind of. Forty, almost forty-six percent alcohol. But there's a slight barrel tinge to the back. Barrel, definitely barrel. Barrel throughout, and then you know what it is? There's a nuttiness. Yeah, okay, so he was wondering, does this compare to American Mictors because he can't get American Mictors? The answer is no. no. Um, it's too sweet, American Mictors, and American Mictors is more caramel and butterscotch and not as much straight sugar. To confirm. No, 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 no. To no. confirm. Oh, we got three more to go and we have other videos to shoot. Unsatisfied. And I am hosting a class tonight. <laughs> he really is. Dude, I really like this one, but I'm moving on. Okay. So let's go to a rye to mix it up a little bit. It's, you say spun sugar though, as you get the rye out. You Here, say, use a dumping glass. You say spun sugar, but it's not overbearingly sugary sweet. No, 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 no. It's a hint. A it's hint. a hint. Yes. Yeah. This. It's just smooth, complex. We're reusing the glasses. Oh, so use that. We'll collect everything you. from this batch in one glass oh, and you. see what happens. Um, I like that one, man. Yeah. I actually it's probably would not. One of my favorite wheat whiskeys that I have not had many of. Yeah, that's true. This is uh, made in the old East Coast Monongahela rye style. Oh no, different. Reminiscent of Maryland rye. Different than Kentucky and Monongahela. High proportion of raw rye grain, <laughs> rye malt, rather than barley malt and a touch of corn for balance. Um, not, that thing is not one of my borrow my knife? Yeah, I finally got it. <laughs> okay. I have a knife. Here we go. Great Northern Distilling Rye. Yes. So rye. You know what? Coming off of a super sweet quarterly smooth. challenge. I'm even excited about a rye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Uh -huh. um, oh, there is some. Oh man, that's a. And this is from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. That is leather all day, man. That is leather all day. I just walked into a country western. Store. Whoa, dude! <laughs> you getting leather? <laughs> that is bootstrap. 
yeah. all damn day and, and leather polish mm. and fresh uh, cut wood. Why did ball gag just so, come, to, come to mind? Yeah, well, you must uh, have yours hand carved out of fresh harvested pine. Good night that smells green. It, oh, you know, I... This is not this is not the funky raw leather note. This is to me like a worn leather, and you said pine. Yeah, this is pine. I get that. This is pine, absolutely pine and and uh, worn leather. Yeah, pine needles, and an old leather saddle. Yeah. Somebody sort of was sweating in it for a yeah, long time. In terms of, I'm not getting a lot of sweetness because the pine and the leather are just so prominent. Wow, that is dramatic. What is the? I haven't even tasted it yet. Forty eight percent. You know. I feel like a cowboy. Yeah! This is what I imagine. That is less aggressive than I thought it would be. Yeah, and it's what I imagine cowboys drinking. Yeah. Pour me, I got a powerful whiskey thirst on. Yeah. Pour me a drink. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is cowboy whiskey. I so need another dash because that's just smoother than I would have Where thought. is it from again? This one's from Plover, I don't know Wisconsin. Where. Wisconsin. Sorry, right. correction. Plover, Wisconsin is where this is from. I was expecting this to be a kick in the teeth. No. I am pleasantly That's surprised by how enjoyable that is. I get like a lemon finish, by the way. Yeah. A lemon finish. I do too. Uh, the g kind of bitter lemon finish. Yes. Uh, uh, but worn, dude, I, Worn leather, I like pine, that. and a leather finish. I can, that actually is one of my favorite rice, I think. I was going to say, that might go up in my top three. Yeah, I say, I say top five. Man, we're kicking ass on craft today. Mm -hmm. It's getting real. All right, now we're doing, you know, kind of a standard. Oh, this is the one. This is a Doppelbach from Eclair. Let's try that one. Do I need to shake? Because I want to end with the basil. Should I shake this out again? The basil head. Do I need to shake this? Not on me. You specified that I need to shake this. No. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> That's not a thing anymore. It you just be, missed it, man. I mean, it used to be a thing. Last week was when it stopped being a thing. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad to know I'm getting closer to the cool curve. You're almost hit and with it. Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! What is it? I think Wait, we don't just, tell me. Don't tell me. I think we just hit our first Woo! strike. <laughs> I think we just hit our first strike of the day. Hold on. Oh, Infinity Beverages. Hold on. You, uh, you're hurting me here, man. No, it says experiment. It says experiment Please right at the top. EC sixteen twelve. Keep this an experiment. EC if it tastes anything hand like crafted, it smells. Handcrafted experiments concocted oh. in uh, Wisconsin. All right, dude. This is uh, this is. You don't put your nose down in here. You got to get it. <laughs> I hope they don't ever watch this video. Do you know they because do? Man, you know they do. <laughs> Here's the thing. This is this is a feed stall in a barn. Right. With urine. Okay, hold on. I'll get back to it in a second. No, no. Hay, hay stall and urine. Here's what's happening. Even whenever... Oh! Because whenever it's a whiskey that we whiskey. like, yeah, um, we usually just give the distiller a heads up. It's like, hey, hey we we're just you're the thing. If we don't like it, then you know, it's just kind of tacky to do that. Yeah. But what I found out is even whenever we don't send it to the distillery, somebody does. Somebody always does. And if it's a smaller craft, a lot of people have not reviewed it, so if you search it on YouTube, we yeah. end up being yeah. the number one so. result. Um, Sorry, but, but Infinity Beverages. What's happened a few times is, is it's been a less than favorable review. So they They'll send, send it to more. the distillery, yeah. and the distillery, they say they really liked it. They say, okay. oh, they thought it was great. And I'm trying to get past they're trying to be diplomatic the funk of, dry, of hay and urine. You know what? Think um, overly ripe, like apple orchard, they didn't get picked. They fell to the oh, ground. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They fell to the ground, and the apples started to get all mushy. Okay, I'm in on that. That's yeah. better than urine. Yeah, no, man, I'm not getting the urine bit. It's okay, now I'm I'm past that initial funk. I'm acclimating. Yeah. And now I'm getting some darker, sweeter notes. Yeah, like the dark, overly ripe. I needed to let that sour funk turn into background noise for a second. Apples and plums and... I wonder what barrels they're using. You know, on the nose, you know the brown bits of a banana? Mm-hmm. Just the tiniest bit of that. It tastes identical to its smell. Doing interesting thing. It's a line of beer skis. Uh, of course. Oh, that's uh, why, because it's got it's got to have hops in it a little bit. Mm, 
Or maybe not. It's a beer mash. I'm getting more maltiness than that. They buy a beer mash, double distill it, and age it in micro barrels. Okay. So here's where it's probably... Just getting too... My guess is it's the micro barrels. Too intensely barreled. And the beer mash. Too intensely barreled. I would really love to try their chocolate oatmeal stout whiskey. So I I'm can't in, finish that one. I'm in the mood for the basil... Basil, it's basil. Basil. Hidden. Basil hidden dark rye. Dark rye. All right. So as I saw somebody post this in the whiskey tribe. I hadn't even heard of it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a new thing? Um, what it is 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 an expansion in the basil hidden family. You just said blending Kentucky rye. Basil or basil? I, I'm joking around by saying basil. They are blending Kentucky rye and Canadian rye together. Kentucky rye and Canadian yep, rye. Yep, Kentucky rye okay. and Canadian rye from the Alberta distillery. So which? And California port. Oh, so the port is where that really dark... Yeah, a touch of port. A touch of port. Yep, two different rye whiskeys. So Kentucky, Canadian, and then now, a touch of port. So are they actually putting port in here? Yes. So putting port, not... Yeah, not, look at the color on that. It looks like tawny port. Not barrel... I don't know if it's tawny port. Not aged in port barrels, but actually pouring port in here. This has the color of tawny port. Okay. So there's not port barrels. No, it's actual port. Actual port dumping into that. Okay. Right. Now, oh, it doesn't smell like tawny port. It, it smells, smells like, like ruby port. It smells... Oh, I was just going to say port. I don't know the difference between tawny and ruby. So ruby port is the more... Cherry dark fruity port. Okay. Tawny port is, oh, it is I'm, I'm talking about what you end up tasting after it's done. It is tawny cherry. port ends yeah. up tasting like almonds to me Okay, and I prefer tawny port because on the nose. I'm absolutely getting port But uh, but you're talking about fruit and berries it's and a cherry. Yeah, it's the dark I'm fruit. getting a little uh, syrup uh, uh, Maple syrup in there too mm. or molasses or something. Wow, that is not rye in terms of like traditional Ooh. American rye It really does taste like it does, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like you poured a port into a glass that used to hold rye, right? Like you finished your rye whiskey. I'm getting nothing, nothing. There's a little peppery spike on the back end of it. So you finished your rye right. and then you filled a glass of port. And so your port has remnants of the rye that was coating the glass. But this is more port than rye. This is a lot more port than rye. Yeah. This is, this is like a concentrated port I'm wow. hunting for anything that my brain registers as rye. I'm tasting tawny port. Okay. I'm thinking they actually used tawny port. That, because I'm getting that kind almond. of almondy aftertaste mm -hmm. that I only ever get from, it's a California port. So, hey, somebody sent me this, and I can't figure out who it was. This is another edition of the Border Whiskey, right. but when they had a different logo on it. So who sent that? I don't know. If you sent it, please tell me. Oh, it, and also if you just send whiskey in general, you gotta let us. You gotta tell us. You gotta let us know in the. Oh wait, wait, no, it was this one, the one that said border on it. The W was from uh, Sullivan. Okay. It's the same uh, distillery. Right. Furry Wookie, Rex says, I like this. Daniel says, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Which is how we should all coach our friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's funny because we always talk about opinions are subjective, right. but here's the thing, it's totally fine to tell somebody you disagree with them. <laughs> now, well, I'm doing it wrong by saying, no, you are wrong as a person. I'm doing it because I think it's funny when Rex has a really dramatic opinion, <laughs> no, and right. my response is, no, no, you're wrong. <laughs> it's a completely subjective opinion. Yeah, totally subjective. Uh, no, it's totally wrong. You know, like, no, no, like my kids are really cool. No, the, the line is, and we've talked about this multiple times, you can agree with people, you can have a strong personal preference. Uh -huh. You just don't shit on other people like Daniel does to me. Yeah. And I come in day after day. I'm trying to live as an example of what not to do. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of enjoying this as a dessert finish to it, our whiskey lineup. I agree, it's a, it's pretty desserty. And um, honestly, if you would have poured me this, rye would have been one of the last things on the list that, you, that I would have said is in here. Okay. Give us one more comment, we'll wrap it up. We're going long. Don't rush me. <laughs> You're so pushy. Don't rush. Uh, Jason Klischschultz, I'm going to make it through the whole week. Good on you. Here is a summary. Day one, this is going to be a breeze to get through. Day two, this is talking about the quarterly challenge. Yeah. Walks by the whiskey cabinet precisely 43 times. <laughs> I may or may not have done that. Uh, skip to day four. Watches three straight hours of YouTube whiskey videos. 
Skip to day seven. Doesn't remember the taste of whiskey or the sound of water or the touch of a glass. <laughs> Poorly paraphrased quote from the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Lost all hope. <laughs> this is when you need a friend to say, Frodo, I'll carry you up the mountain and take you back into the whiskey vault. Wait, what's, what does it say? He's not heavy, he's my brother. Yeah. Is that what it is? He picks up and he starts carrying <laughs> I think that's a direct quote from Lord of the Rings. No, 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 it's a different movie. Yeah. yeah. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may fight for a break. If you steal me, I steal lovers' hearts. It feels good to get back into oh, the thing. We so actually good. know something about. I know. We knew nothing about what we were talking about, except maybe tea and coffee. Yeah, so if you drink, may you drink with us. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.